Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're unable to delete font files on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So a couple different options here, depending on the error message you receive. So the first message would be if the font file cannot be deleted because it's a protected system font. You can just stop the tutorial at this point. We are not going to be covering that in today's tutorial. We're not going to be deleting it. However, if you're coming across an issue that reads that the font file cannot be deleted because it's in use, that's a different situation, and we're going to go about deleting that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in fonts, best match, come back with fonts, and then control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Locate whatever font you're having the problem with that just says that it can't be deleted because it's in use. So all you have to do is just locate whatever font you are having the issue with here. And once you've located it, right click on the font, select properties, select the security tab, and where it says to change permissions, click edit. And just make sure that underneath Administrator, you have the Allow option for full control, and then you'd select OK. So again, you make sure that you are permitted to access or modify those font settings. You can select Advanced as well. And then underneath Owner, click and click on the Change option there. Type in Everyone into this field. Select Check Names, then select OK. And then once you're done with that, select Apply. OK, and then OK again. And then you should be able to go ahead and actually edit those permissions at this point, and then select underneath Allow, Full Control. So if those options were grayed out before, you just go into those advanced options like I just showed. Then you would select Apply, Yes, and OK. And that's pretty much all you have to do, and then you should be able to delete those files without too much of a hassle here. Like I said, pretty straightforward process. And you can see that it cannot be deleted because it's a protected system font. However, if it's not a protected system font, you should be able to delete them like I just was showing. So pretty straightforward process. Do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.